Hannistown students, welcome to another edition of Christian Meme Review. Uh, this week we're talking about the great battle within the church. Often the great battle within the church is thought to be over the style of music or preaching. But what if I told you it was much deeper than that? It's about something that starts with the letter P. Pronunciation. Can I get a... Amen. 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 Now what if I told you that they were all wrong? According to my internet research, the true way to say this word is... Amen. Amen. Our first meme. Captain America. Amen. Iron Man. Amen. This is the true civil war undercurrent within our church. People who pronounce it amen, people who pronounce it amen. Okay, so the undertaker pronouncing it correctly instills fear in this other wrestler. This is how it normally plays out, but sometimes it can get a little hot and heavy. We see this next meme, people who pronounce it amen versus people who pronounce it amen. Ah, that guy's beating him with the chair. Now usually it doesn't go this far. Usually people can sell their differences in amen, amenery with a little less violence. But sometimes you encounter crazy people like this next meme. We have Anakin. Amen? Nah. Not just amen, but a women and a children too. Now we know what that means. If you've ever seen the prequels to Star Wars, we know what he did in that Jedi temple. There's also people that try to make this political. Amen? You mean a woman? Now it's not just Karens out there. It could be people who are just taking a feminist theory class who do it as a joke to upset the patriarchy. Look at this next meme. Karen, I understand you're a feminist, but you can't say a woman instead of saying amen. Now, we need strong church leaders like this in the midst of Karens who are trying to take amen to what it should never be. I mean, it's for the children, really. Look at this next meme. We have a child saying amen, as it should be. But we have people making it political. Um, we like to say a people. No. Amen is not a gender neutral term. It's not even gender specific. That's not even what it means. Now let's take a step back from this wokeness. We have Winnie the Pooh saying amen. We have a fancy dressed Winnie the Pooh who is well cultured saying amen. Now we see that same idea expressed in this next meme where we see small brain saying amen. We see the normal brain, the cultured person saying amen. We see the bourgeois saying amen. But we see the person who actually knows what they're talking about with the exploding genius brain saying, let it be so, which most of you probably didn't know is what it actually means. Now, if we actually just said, let it be so, we could solve this problem. I think I will end all of my prayers from now on. Instead of amen, or amen, or amen, like Joe would say, I'll say, let it be so. I want to end this conflict we have in the church. I want us to all just get along. So before we go, I have a quick message from the book of James, chapter 1, verse 26 and 27. And so this is, is really about what God sees as religion or or worship or, or or a way of following him that is a value that is pure and, and undefiled by this world and one thing I want to note is that from a lot of different people and from a lot of different sides uh, just from what I perceive in this moment in time is that there are people that are looking to be right or looking to gain some sort of moral high ground from from whatever per perspective it is and then they're trying to bash it down someone's throat or to to try to prove to others how upright and righteous they are by their views being the correct views and what I want to express 
through this message is, is what God sees as true religion or as religion that is undefiled by the world. And in, in James 1, 26 and 7, it says, If anyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. So in other words, it's saying if someone thinks they're religious or someone thinks that that the way that they are pleasing to God is by saying things uh, against other people or by believing that they are great in their heart for, for what they're doing, then that is wrong. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God is this to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. And so the, the true undefiled worship before God is to help those who truly can't help themselves. Um, it's not to, to try to seek some sort of high ground and to enforce it on, on other people around you. But I, I believe that when you see injustice or when you see things that are wrong in the world that you are actually responding to it and that in doing so you're not elevating yourself but you're doing it as a response to God in worship and also to keep oneself unstained from the world is to to not get caught up in the ideologies of our day but instead to cling close to God to try to see his truth in the midst of of a bunch of different arguments that are going on in this world and see that, that really none of them are, are based off the truth of the gospel, but that by acting in accordance to the gospel and, and keeping yourself pure before God and, and keeping God first, that, that you won't be conformed to this world, but instead you'll be renewed and you'll be equipped to, to serve others around you because you are um, in service to God because God is working through you because God will open your eyes to see the people around you that are truly in need and because you're you're not stained by this world because you're not rooting for one side or the other to win that you're able to see people as people and you're able to see them as God sees them and because you're unstained by the world you can be the person that helps bring people together you can be the person that helps someone who's truly in need and so this is true religion and and, and when you do this it it's not to to be to be something that that makes you feel better than other people because that that deceit in your heart is, is something that pulls you away from God because it's really about God because when you're unstained by the world when you draw close to God the glory goes to God not to you and I want to highlight that when we keep the focus on God, we can truly do the most good in the world. And so I want to leave you with that. And I hope you tune in to next week's edition of Christian Meme Review. Next week's edition will be about Facebook prayer. <music>